Hello and welcome to the third problem from the June 2016 Algebra Regents exam. In this question we're looking at a table comparing the number of households in a building to that or oh, that have high speed to broaden out in internet access um, over years that have passed in time. And the question is asking us to find which interval of time was the average rate of change the smallest. Now for this question it's important to understand how to calculate rate of change. To do that, it's the change in the y variable. Um, some people uh, express that as delta y. That uh, is just a symbol that means the change in. And then we divide it by the change in the x variable. And in this situation, the number of households that have high-speed internet um, is our y variable because it depends on the year. y always depends on the x variable. So what we're going to need to do is compare, let's look at the first possibility, 2002 to 2004, so from here to here. So first we're going to look at the change in y. How much did the number of households change? Well, it went from 11 to 23. So essentially what we're going to do is find the difference between 23 and 11, and I can just do that by subtracting them. And then we're going to divide it by the change in the x variable, in which in this case is the number of years. And we can see that from 2002 to 2004 is simply just a two-year difference. Um, so if we were to equate that, uh, 23 minus 11 gets us 12, and then 12 divided by 2 is 6. So our rate of change is 6 for this first example. Now let's take a look at the next one. So from 2003 to 2005, so that's looking from here to here. It looks like the number of households that had internet increased from 16 to 33. And if we subtract those, we'll find out the difference. And that will get us 17. So the difference is 17 in the number of households. We're going to divide that by the difference in years. Again, that's a two-year difference. And 17 divided by 2 would get us 8.5. Okay. Let me just change the pen here, and we'll, okay, let's take a look at the next one. So 2004 to 2006, from here to here, the number of households is increasing from 23 to 42. And if we subtract those two numbers, we'll find out that the difference is 19. So we'll do 19 divided by 2, again, because it's a two-year difference. And 19 over 2 would get us 9.5. So, so far, uh, number one is, looks like our answer because it has the smallest change. All right, and last but not least, let's take a look at part four, 2005 to 2007. So that's from here to here. And our numbers increased from 33 to 47 houses. And the difference between those is 14. So we'll do 14 over the difference in years, which again is 2 and that would give us a rate of change of 7. So it looks like our answer is in fact the first one because 6 is the smallest rate of change out of those four possibilities. Alright, thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.